in a relationship, we only dream about having praise and worship nights, Bible study nights as a family, and now I can say it can turn out to be reality. As I am now married to this loving, Christ-centered, motivating, inspiring, hilarious, creative man, I look forward to what God has in store for us. He is honestly the one I can trust, love, and know he would never leave me, leave by my side. And let me say, the only man who is able to handle me at my worst, even at times when I can't handle myself. I should be honest here. I honestly did not think this day would have come, came. I grew up with this girl, okay? So I know her. I know her. Dana is a smelly, lazy, hungry beast that farts all the time, okay? Like, I constantly constantly thought, like, who would want to marry this? Like, honestly. But then I met Patrick. Honestly, uh, this Patrick, he's like the Chinese male version of Dana. Like, like... I can't describe your eyes, but there is blue as the sea. Your heart, it beats in perfect time with me. Baby, you if I'm like following with this honest streak I'm going with, I thought you wouldn't make it, to be honest. Like, uh, it's like this dude's not, he doesn't know what he's getting into. He's not gonna make it. Like, God, now. But, but the more I got to know you, I thought, wow, this guy's made for Dana. Like, they both can't dance. They both think farting is like this never ending competition. But they are both incredibly Christ-centered. <laughs> like y'all heard their unique story, right? Like she, like he almost became a priest. She almost became a nun. But they chucked that out and was like, "Let's get together." <laughs> but when Patrick told me he wanted to marry my sister, I couldn't stop crying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, most people thought, oh, you're gonna have your own room, your Dana's out and everything. Everybody thought it was that shallow and that I just wanted my own room, but I was just really, really happy for her because she deserves all the, every kind of happiness out there in the world because she's the most amazing person I know. I'm not done. <laughs> Give me a second, I can't see. <laughs> okay. Like I remember when we were young, we would always watch rom coms together. We would like lying down in our rooms and she would always yell at the scream, Oh yeah, right, that's only in movies, that's never gonna happen. And it always saddened me because she always gives all this love to my parents, me, her whole family and all her friends and anyone she meets along the way. She gives so much love and she believed that one day she would never get that. But here you are! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wreck. All these videos are gonna look so bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick, for loving my sister, for loving Dana. I know it can be hard at times, trust me, I know. But I could not think of a better man for my sister. The way you value her values, such as caring for my parents, because I'm... Or even me, when I know I can be a pain in the butt, and it's really hard to get along with me. But I know... I know that I can always depend on you whenever because you're like a big brother now you know like a brother always wanted no. okay until you meet your chariot
know my heart is heavy and the hurt is deep. Um, so I honestly wasn't able to use the words best friend for like four years. And I'm talking like I was traumatized. Like I'd try to say, you know, people would say, oh yeah, so who's your best friend? And I'd be like, oh my, like I'd choke up. It would be weird. I was psychologically traumatized. I couldn't use the word best friend. Until, uh, until Patrick, um, we went to this conference together, this churchy conference. And we were in the same like hotel room with this two other guys. And uh, we're just sharing stories. And uh, I was sharing this pain in my life that I haven't been able to share to anyone until that point. And uh, I remember sharing it with, you remember with James and stuff like that? And, and, and I think Patty was there too. And uh, Rise Up, right? And I remember just sharing the story. And for the first time in my life, I could use the word best friend. And Patrick was one of those guys I could use it with. One thing I always treat yours when she organized a surprise party for my 50th birthday, that one was a very special another thing about her is when she likes something she will stick on it so what's up patrick <laughs> patrick is the first boyfriend for i don't know how many years and now especially patrick you are now our son And Patrick to look after her. <laughs> I know Patrick will do it because I know May has brought Patrick really, really a good person. So it comes from the mom, the family, the relatives. He's a very good son. If I'm against Patrick, I will let him know right away. But he's a very good person. <laughs> I do, or when you say, give you my heart, it is also kind of the heart of God that you, you give to one another. This is, this is very beautiful. This, when, when we say, I give you my heart, we don't mean just a part of us. We need all of us, see, when we say, my heart, because uh, the heart is Kind of another word for the soul, the sense of the heart is the whole, our whole being that we, we give to one another. I went to discover if religious life was my calling which it wasn't because Patrick would always pop up in my mind. He doesn't know this, but there was a time when I woke up in the morning, and this was actually before we were together um, or anything, but there was a time I woke up in the morning, I turned around and I saw his face vividly next to me. It was not freaky at all, but I felt like, whoa, why am I seeing this guy? He's in the cemetery. <laughs> But all in God's timing, Patrick did let me know that he wouldn't continue for another year in the seminary and thought about married life. Of course, I planned to share my feelings that day. He told me and I was left with an unanswered question. How do you feel about me? That day, May 1st, 2015, he left the seminary like hours, I tell you. 
He calls me and says, Hey, remember that question you asked me three weeks ago? I can answer it now. And thus we met and walked and talked. And from that moment, he asked me to be in a relationship with him. Um, the first time I met this beautiful woman, just her, her radiant smile, her gorgeous eyes, gorgeous face just captivated me. And every day I, I long to get to know you more and more um, through texting, good morning, good night. <laughs> there were other encounters together. I just had a longing to, to know you and you remind me of God's beauty every day and now I get to see his be beauty shining through you. So. Um, they say a woman is not a problem to be solved, but a mystery to be loved. So I want to I wanna love you, I want to protect you, and I want to cherish you. To Dana. He has tremendously brought me closer to God and taught me a lot. From moments where I felt like giving up in a relationship, God always reminded me why I love this man. And that is, I love him from his brokenness. <laughs> he taught me how we are all broken inside. And knowing that God is at the center of a relationship, our hearts will be mended by his everlasting love. Thank you.